All right, let's discuss this week's analysis using Asian range. So we're going to analyze our Asian range and we're going to see what might happen during the week. All right, so let's start off with the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, as we always do, let's highlight our high and our low. All right, so our high and our low of our previous week, that's the important previous week low. So you can just highlight that. And then our previous week high, which would be right here. So now as we can, as we can see, we could say price has made a very strong rejection on the high on our weekly high, all right? As you can see, this is an area where price has been before and price has given us a strong rejection. Now let's move on to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, on the daily time frame, that's where we can see the rejection properly. Now, if you look at our previous, week's Friday candle. This would be the candle that I'm talking about. This pin bar, this bearish pin bar, or you can call it a hammer, whatever you want to call it. That bearish candle was a very strong signal. Now, what makes that bearish candle a very strong signal is when this week opened, right, price made a fake out first before doing anything. As you can see, we see price going higher but it failed to go higher and it came back below our high. So you can see, same thing here, the price fell. So could this be the same thing that could cause price to fall? We shall wait and see. All right, but for now, that's what price is telling us. So what price is telling us is, price has made a strong signal, a very signal, a strong confirmation now, the question would be, what is this previous, our yesterday's candle telling us? Is it giving us a small range for price to fall to our weekly low? Or is it giving us a range for price to weak out, give us a stop hand and continue going higher? All right. So those are the questions that you should be asking for, for those people who are going to be looking at this move on a higher time frame. However, we look at daily to daily. So let's move on to the four hour time frame. All right, on the four hour time frame, we have a high that was created, as you can see, a high that was created right there. And then we have a low that was created. Now, if we look at this high and this low that was created, right? This is a high and the low that was created during Asian time. So could Monday be giving us the Asian range, right? As you can see, could this be giving us the Asian range for Tuesday to fake out? And then you see price coming back in Wednesday for price to fall Thursday and Friday. All right, so now this could be the situation that, that, that price is giving us. Remember, we talked about it when we said Asian range will create, so this would be Asian range, right? And then price will either fake out, right? Make people buy and then come back for a retest, make more people buy and then come back into the range. And then it will then give us the actual move. All right. Now that's a situation where price is meant to go bearish. Now, in a situation, in a situation where price is meant to go bullish, we could see possibly an Asian range, right? And then we have some sort of a fake out, retest, make people more people sell, right? And then come back into our range. And then from there, you will see 
price, then going higher to where it's meant to be. All right. So now Monday gave us a bearish confirmation as we have highlighted. This was our bearish confirmation. The whole candle down was our bearish confirmation. Now, Tuesday, we've been ranging. So we need to see if Wednesday or Tuesday Asian, Wednesday Asian is going to give us a fake out above or a fake out below. So whatever breakout that price makes, I would not trade that. I would wait and see. If price is going to come back into the range, then give us a fake out above, or if price is going to give us a range and then give us a fake out below. And then when price comes back into the range, when price comes back into the range, you then trade the actual move. Now, remember, Asian ranges, London will give us the fake out, either it will go below, right? Or it will go above, give us a fake out, and then it will come back into our range. Once price is back into our range, then to show us if it's going low or if it's going high. All right. Now, this is the only trade that I'll be watching out for, for now. I will not be talking about weekly buys or weekly sells because price has already given us a move and we need to use this move into, into our own advantage. Now you're going to use your Asian range. You're going to wait because price has given us a move. This is how else, how else you can look at it. Price has given us an impulse. Price is ranging. Now this range, could it be for price to continue lower? All right, or price has given us an impulse correction. All right, now remember, as long as price doesn't break the high or the low of our impulse, price is too very much valid for it to go higher. All right, so now this is an area where you have to be very careful because you're not sure if price is giving you a move below or a move higher. Considering our monthly, our previous monthly candle, our previous monthly candle was a strong bullish candle. Now, as a strong bullish candle, was this there to retest or it's an actual move? All right, because now this is an engulfing candle because it has engulfed three daily candles. Now, this is a very strong time frame for price to just reject like that. So we might see this month's bearish candle pulling lower for a retest for it to continue going higher. Now, if we're going to say it's going to continue going lower for a retest, we need to see where it might end. All right. So where it might end, price made an impulse. Right, and this is the first law that price has made. So this law should be the one that's that's going to tell us what price is, is exactly trying to do. So for us to trade that law, we need to see what price is going to do on the on our on our range. Remember, we have a mini range that's going on around this area, and we need to see what price is going to do around that area. All right, now it's best to be patient and wait and see what might happen. All right, it's all about patient. And remember, the good moves always happen during New York session. So you need to watch Asian range, then you need to watch London fake out. And then during New York session, when price comes back into our range or the range that Asian has created, that's your actual move. All right. That's it for now. Any questions, please feel free to write them in our blog and we can discuss.